hi, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to pretty much finalize our kit and we're just going to go through and check it's all named properly and then save the presets so that we can then use our kit in the future rather than having to load this same live set every time. So it's going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and probably won't go on for too long either. There's a basically a couple of levels where we can save everything we've done. The first obviously is the main kit itself and all we need to do is basically when we're sure that it's all the way we want it we can save it just using this button here but before we do that we're going to go through each sound one by one check they're all named properly and we're going to save those as individual presets so first we'll start at the bottom with the kick and you can see there that that's not named at the moment so that's just to keep it all the same we'll call it b-box kit and this one's b-box kick we'll just call it kick01 um, now we probably want to save that with those two effects here so if we just select all of them and hold the shift key and then control g or command g or mac and that'll group them together now we've basically got an instrument rack. It should still play fine, no problems. Just check, oh, that's the wrong kick. But yeah, it still triggers when we press that note. So, all we need to do now is, if we just expand this, we can see it's just called instrument rack. Chain still called kick, but let's rename this as well. So, so that's nice and neat. So now all we do is just press this button here and that you can see it automatically chooses a location in the instrument rack folder. Now, because we've already named it, it'll come up there with the name that we want and that's fine. So we can just hit enter. But what we're going to do now is right click and create a folder within that instrument rack folder specifically for beatbox kit. So let's call that just like that. And then we'll drag that one in there. You can see another couple there that I've saved before as I've gone along, but and basically you can do the same thing. I don't know that we really need to go through and do all this one by one because they all work in much the same way. You basically want to do the same thing as you go along. In order to keep all the effects with it, you want to group them all together, make an instrument rack, then name them correctly. I'll just quickly do this one because it'll only take me a second. Expand that again, so that change it from instrument rack, we'll call it B-Box 909 Kick. Same there. Just call that 909 kick because it's within that rack. Same again. Yes, that's obviously one I've done earlier. So let's just do that. Drag that into the folder as well. Close triangle. Now we can see that's already named. This is already a rack. And we press that and we can see now that's gone to a different area here because this is a drum rack. So that's gone into the drum rack subfolder within the instruments folder in the device browser. So let's just hit enter on that. Again, it'll say OK because I've already made one there. And I'm going to do the same again. Create and we'll call it. Oops. Kit. I'm going to drag that into there. So you can see, according to what type of rack it is, it will automatically be loaded into this folder here. And if you want to just save the actual sample itself, let's do it with the 909 kick as an example. So we'll change that then to. D box seeing as we're going to save it on its own 
And um, we can just save that as a simpler preset. Without all the effects, we can compress this button here. It's the same thing again. You'll notice this time it comes up in the subfolder for the simpler here. So we'll just hit enter, that's the right name. Might do the same again. Box kit. So it's always a good idea to have a subfolder within there, especially if you've got a whole kit that you're creating like this. We'll just drag that in there. And really, there's not much need to go any further. Same again with sampler, except the difference will be that it will go in the sampler folder here. And so once you've done all of that, you can easily just drag it straight into live like this. Then we've got our kick that's not saved within a rack. Or if we want one that's in a rack with all the effects, where's, where's the folder there? Then you can drag that there instead, and that'll come up with all the necessary effects and And you can see because that's not in a uh, in the same drum rack anymore that accepts all notes. And so you can say basically that's the easy way to save them all and you can then use them in future projects. Now one other, one other thing you can also do is of course you can save the live set itself and that'll that'll contain everything else but you can also save these clips that we've done as live clips and to do that we just need to basically drag them into the browser and that will save the kit and clips together all as one track so let's do the same thing here but we'll do this in this folder we'll go into the library into the clips folder here and we'll create a folder again we'll call it box kit and then we can literally just drag that clip into there and we'll call that box kit loop 01 maybe. So that's now saved as a live clip. We can preview that in the browser. You can hear there, it's uh, that's exactly how it sounds here. And so now we can just drag that into live, into the empty space there. And that will bring in the clip, it'll bring in the whole kit and the track, like so. So that's a very handy way of doing it, because you uh, get the clips as well as the kit. So really, um, that's, that's about it. We don't need to go any further with that. You could also save as a live pack, but we're not going to do that here. And that's our kit. We've basically got our... A drum kit now that we can use in a lot of situations that we've built straight from the ground up with uh, starting with our beatbox sample and down the line we might come back to it and maybe start giving each of the sounds some of their own effects and maybe we'll build some effects racks to go with each of these and also map some macros to give ourselves some flexible control over them. But that might be for a later day. For now, that's it for our kit. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.